Sarah Gibbs. I'm originally from New Mexico. So I started out teaching kindergarten for three years and then we moved to Whitesboro and I've taught here in Gainesville. I started out as a substitute teacher. So I taught 144 days. I counted them. <laughs> yes, and it was it was lovely. I got to go throughout the district and then I came here to Chalmers. And so I taught third grade for six years and this is my fourth year in second grade. One of Miss McGibbs' biggest strengths is her compassion with her kids. Um, her students know first and foremost that she cares about them. When they're walking down the hall, they don't want to disappoint her. When they're walking through the lunchroom, they don't want to disappoint her. There's just a feeling of uh, family in her room. Yeah. I treat them like I would my own child. What a child did one day does not impact me the next day because I know a new day has, has risen. They get another chance. How would I feel if I was in that little body, a seven-year-old? How would I want to be treated? Table. So your whole table, give me a, a, a no. Thank you. I wrote it. You wrote it? I love you, Miss Gibbs. Thank you for teaching us. Love, table three. David, Alicia, Maury, and Dayton. Aww. You guys are so <laughs> But Miss Gibbs goes out of her way to make sure every person on this, on this campus um, hears from her if, if they're in a time of need. She feels like they need a, a pick-me-up. She sends an email, she calls, she leaves cards. She's here. Very, That's um, another big thing. She's here every day. And she's here emotionally every day for not just her kids, but for the staff as well. As a team lead for MAP, I, I really like to look at other colleagues and see what they're doing and, um, and bring that to the table. If somebody isn't able to do something, I'm not the person that sits back and and says, okay, well, don't do it. I, I'll do it because I know what it's like to, to struggle and I want people to be uplifted. Uh, she's a very, very strong math teacher. Um, uh, I, I taught math for 12 years and I go in her room and I just love the strategy she uses. Um, she's been doing small group work um, for a long time uh, in math and that's something you don't see every day. God, uh, God's given me a family, he's given me a home, he's given me children, and then he's given me these other children. And I don't want to take for granted what I've been given. So I became a teacher because I knew I had that gift. And I knew that was given by God because that's not something I created on my own. Um, it's not always easy, but the benefits are, are 100% um, that when the kids come to you and say, I love you, you taught me something, I'm like,